Welcome everyone to Life Advice. So here we are three guys. We've got plenty of life experiences because we're quite old now, unfortunately. Yes, but we've got 10 years on them. We are professional. We're not professionals, but we give professional advice. Yeah. And uh, we begin some emails um just from from on our email uh just for some general advice, scenarios people are going through, dilemmas. And uh, it comes through to Habs. We don't know what it is. But Habs got one today. So what have you got for us, Habs? What you saying? What you saying? So, basically, this is from Anonymous, as always. Um, it's uh, female this time. So, basically, okay. what they're saying is... Yeah, so... What's the uh, name, man? Say Go on. No, no name. No, no. How old is she? Yeah. I have any no pictures, idea. man? Any pictures? <laughs> you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, you're hungry. <laughs> so, um, basically, I whenever I go near my partner, right, and he, he's on his phone, he always puts it away. Now, I've noticed it keeps happening. Right? Oh, it's not man. one off. Red flag. Right there. And um, I, it's, it's always, he'll be happily on his phone, playing on his phone, I'm doing something. And then when I come closer, it's very quick to get off the phone. Now, should I be concerned? It's been bothering me lately, and it's because I notice it more and more. And as I'm noticing more and more, um, I'm seeing it more and more. What should I do? Uh, should I confront him, uh, or should I just ignore it? He's a dirt bag. He's been milking First his all, udder. That is a huge red flag because he's probably too busy on things like TikTok, Instagram, Liking things you shouldn't like, looking at things in dirt in, bag. Naughty boy, naughty, naughty boy. Or, boy. or it could be worse. It could be messaging someone. Now that gets yeah, man, to trying to slide level. into somebody's DM. Yeah, so. yeah. Like, hey. When someone when someone ain't got nothing to worry about, they ain't gonna be quick to move their phone. They ain't gonna care. That, so, you know, I'll give you an example. My phone, anybody can access it, man. No problem. My kids are on my phone. All day, my wife, yeah, my daughter, I ain't got nothing to hide. You can go on my Insta. You can. I don't. I've, I've just recently learned how to use Insta, TikTok, on Facebook, and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. But mate, if my man, not my man, you know what I mean. What I'm saying, if I'm my guy, yeah, yeah, not even my guy, if your guy is doing shit like that, yeah, yeah, it's where he, you, you, where you gotta hide, where he's gotta hide his phone every time you. That's red flag, man. You know this guy's. Looking at shit he shouldn't be looking at, yeah. Probably when you're not at home, is rubbing one off. You never know what the hell this guy is right, well, playing a dangerous that's game. Obvious. That's dangerous very game. obvious, very obvious to me. But the question is, what do you want to do about it? Do you want to catch him red handed, or do you want to just open up and say, Listen, it's exactly how it is. Every time you're on your phone, you, you look, you know, I'm thinking you're up to something because very suspicious. Yeah, you call it out. I think you sh she should call it out. Yeah, Please. call it out, man. Don't don't do the you and, know and, um... and, and make sure she says, "How would you like it if I was on my phone all the time and you come near me and I keep moving my phone?" You never know; it might be nothing. But you're right, Habib. I mean, Raz, you're right that uh, she should probably just yes. out, call him out. And it's um, something for sure, man. I've been called shit too many times, man. He's up to no good. You know, you're gonna drive yourself crazy doing some you Sherlock Holmes shit no too. Good. He's yeah, so oblivious, true. he's doing it so often that he's oblivious to it. He's become desensitized from noticing his own misses now. Yep. He's desensitized from that and he's sensitizing something else. He's sensitized by the looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I agree with you guys. I, I think that's what needs to be done. Um, to speak to him and just just say it straight. But if you want, he's a guy. If you want him to be honest, say, look, listen, like, what's going on? I need to know. Now, it depends on how much you love him, how much you care about him. Uh, is he good generally? Like, is, does he treat you right? If if so, maybe, maybe your relationship. Because you know what, bruv? I'll tell you this now, is if he's creeping and if you had a good relationship, or if he's starting to go down that line, you can fix it before it goes somewhere if it hasn't gone too far. Because yeah, a lot of marriage, I, I don't know, are you married? Is it your boyfriend? Because you know what, bruv, I've talked to people who are in marriages and um, their partners don't make enough effort. They don't make enough time for each other. Mm. You know, it's a common theme, right? 
So you might have some bigger things to fix in your marriage or relationship. Um, and it, it, it could be something that you could work on, but you cannot do it unless you find out what the hell the root problem is. Well, yeah? sounds yeah. like they're not my man like Habib. Not very interested at the moment. My man Bibsy, he's like the voice of reason. Yeah, man. We 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 the voice of uh, attack and assault. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying you're wrong. The but voice remember, of reason. Yeah, remember, like whether you're you're right or wrong, I definitely something's wrong there. But then what you got to do is you got to sit there and think, right, what's going on? Is it worth fixing? Do you, you know, we don't want to go break relationships up. Do you see what I mean? Uh, not at all, not at all. Yeah? you got to so, talk it so, out. If there's something there, find out what the hell it is. Are you yeah. lot not intimate enough? Are you lot not making enough? Are you not making each other special enough? Does he not feel like you have enough time? Because, you know, guys are idiots. Do you know what she them. could do as well? And girls. But... You know what she could do as well? She could just say, ah. Oh. Babe, can I just use your phone for a minute? I left mine upstairs. I just want to Google something. If you go, if you start sweating, you know, if he, if he, if he goes, ah, oh, ah, oh. <laughs> yeah, hold hold on. <laughs> bros, now, see, like, you've done that shit, bros. That's a red flag. <laughs> you took it from experience, bros. That one. Oh, yeah, sure, baby. Go. There's your answer. Right there. there you yeah, go, babes. Yeah. Now, now, you can, now you can attempt to say, hey, why, are you <laughs> why are you take so long on the phone? Give me your phone now. Let me see. Let me. And then you can go right up to the phone and see what is delete. That's what you can do. Uh, and you know, uh, best thing, best thing. Raz right in a way. But you know what, Habib's the voice of reason said it clearly. You know what, you need to sit down and actually talk to the guy. End of and see what goes on, where it goes from there. At the end of the day, look. Uh, we might be giving you advice, but it's not professional advice. We obviously do things a little differently. But the sensible thing would be to actually, you know, sit down and talk about it. Because if it's making you feel insecure, anybody who feels insecure in your relationship shouldn't be issue in your relationship. It shouldn't be like that whatsoever. So you should always no. sit down, talk, and get down to the bottom of it. If you can't reach an agreement before it goes any further, yeah, think about the consequences. Think about um, you know what might happen after this, and then think about whether you're going to be happy, um, and what's going to happen straight after, and then make a make a decision based on those judgment calls, and see where it goes from there. Yeah. And you Can know you what? Find out what the problem is with this. Why is he on the phone so much? Yeah, that's as about as much as we can say right now. If you message back after you had done this and let us know how it comes out, maybe we can add our two. Two pen, two pence, or whatever the bloody saying is mm -hmm. afterwards. But you need you need that information first before you can actually go forward. Mm. You know, um, one way of um, keeping your man off the phone, yeah. Um, sorry to say, it's lingerie. Lingerie all day, all day, <laughs> all day, <laughs> all, all day. Yeah. <laughs> always does a treat always works a treat don't forget, his phone. Ain't gonna be don't anyway. forget his phone for at least 60 seconds at least <laughs> you, you, you know that's one way but good luck yeah. to you good luck to you but yeah de definitely uh, I hope that's been useful <laughs> you, you do need to you do need to um, confront him yeah, you do need to confront him. And uh, look, guys will hide things if they feel that it's going to be just a long conversation. So what you need to do is you, you even need to do what Raz did. Let me see your phone. And if he starts like, acting... I, I didn't do that, man. I'm just suggesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, or you, you go talk to him and you talk to him and start being kind and just say, look, is there problems I want to know? If you're creeping, look, I want to know. Because then I want those options. Give me that respect. I'm giving you the respect to talk to you. Give me that respect. Whatever it is, we'll deal with it. You know, don't go all psycho on him. And then let him speak. If he says, yeah, look, I'm sorry. this, And then you can make that decision whether you want to stay with him or whether there's a problem that you can fix. You know what I mean? But if you go there guns blazing, he's just going to hide shit. Guys, anyone would. Don't, don't do what I said, man. Uh, whoever you are, don't do it. Man. It's just gonna cause trouble. I'm just pissing about. Talk it out. These two boys are more sensible than me. Just talk it out. 
just say it as it is. No one like you on your phone all the time. What's your going pension on? is on the phone more than me. What's happening? Suspect. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Suspect. But yeah. Um, yeah, red flags. Let us know what happens. All right. We want to know what happens. Uh, and if you have anything else that you want us to add to it afterwards. All right. We're, we're waiting to hear back from you. As for everyone else, we hope this has been useful. If anyone else is in this position, um, please do let us know uh, in the comment section below. Let us know your thoughts, opinions, whether we give the right advice, whether you have different advice that you would give. We want to know. We want to hear it. Um, as always, Emails please remember. Emails in the description. Yep. Emails. I can't remember. If you got anything, email, email us. Email, email, email us. Email. Or comment. Comment, but emails are easier. We can print it out, have it ready for our show. All right. Um, as always, please remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we we'll catch you in the next one.